Hi, this is Randy Altman with Post Perspective. I'm here with Audio Design Desk's Gabe Cowan. Gabe, welcome. Thank you. You have a new um, sound design app, and uh, br is it brand new? It's brand new. It's we uh, just we showed it for the first time at NAM uh, twenty twenty, and then we were planning on releasing at NAB officially launching, and of course. Uh, NAB didn't happen, so we're, we're here with you now. Okay. Well, before you dig into what the tool is, let's just talk about your background. You're, you're an audio guy, clearly, from, from behind you. You're a musician. Uh, was this app, and you'll tell us what it is, designed uh, from a need that you had? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I started right out of high school. I got signed to Geffen Records. I got a couple of platinum albums and got to play with some amazing people. And in there, I ended up scoring a film for a guy named Roger Corman. And he suggested that I make films. And I'd always been fascinated by that and written short films and shot little things with my camcorder. So I went back to film school, got my master's degree in film directing and have made 25 feature films and a number of shorts and music videos and so forth. And about three years ago, I was always obsessed with the sound for my movies. Um, I was doing the sound uh, for one of my pictures and I just had this moment of going, this process is so stupid. <laughs> uh, and, and I realized that the reason that it's, it's frustrating and slow is because there wasn't an application built from the ground up to connect audio to video, whether it's Logic or Pro Tools, which I love, or Premiere or Avid, which I also love, they're being repurposed to do this. And so we thought, well, what if we uh, uh, took a new approach um, specifically dedicated to connecting sound to picture? And our approach was to give sound something we called sonic intelligence. So every sound that's in our application, we have 25,000 sounds, and you can bring in your own sounds and give them this intelligence very simply too. Every sound knows, is it light or dark? Is it synthetic or organic? Is it complex or simple? About 60 pieces of information. And most importantly, where does the sound sync to video? So Arise, for example, you know, if you brought Arise into Pro Tools, Pro Tools thinks it's the beginning of the Rise that's syncing. And so you have to find that right sync point or trim it, bring it over, untrim it. Um, in our application, all the sounds know the rise is at the zenith. Yep, it's the ump <laughs> where it wants to sync to picture. And so the extension of this thought um, is that once you've placed your you know, sound design composition or placed footsteps, you can instantly replace those sounds with alternates and they'll all be in sync. And so the program, if you opt in, starts to pay attention to what sounds you like, which ones you keep, and which ones you reject. And so over time, it learns what you like. And so it becomes kind of a creative collaborative tool that starts pushing you uh, sounds that it thinks that you'll like. Um, so that's the kind of 20,000 foot view. So who do you see using this tool? Is it more the, um, the indie guys or do you see people at the big audio post houses like Skywalker embracing it as well? Um, yeah, I mean, it's meant to be a tool for everyone. My 10 year old, I gave her about a five uh, minute lesson in how sound design works and she uses it uh, actually a lot to bring in videos from YouTube. She'll bring in Ozark and she'll design it and suddenly it's hers and she feels like this is my show. You know, my nephew does Avengers and he feels like he made Avengers. You know, the Russo brothers had nothing to do with it. Um, uh, and, and then obviously content creators, right? Looking at, at YouTubers or TikTokers, you can make really fun, incredible work very quickly. Um, and then all the way up, we're being used on some Netflix shows right now and Hulu. So we're being used in quite a few post houses uh, uh, already. And it's just meant to speed up the, the flow and uh, allow, you know, it, it really does take something that takes three hours it is about, takes about 15 minutes in our application. And the result not only saves you time, but suddenly it allows you to feel inspired uh, so that you can go, oh, well, what if I did this? Or what if I turn that backwards? Or what if I put this effect on the sound? Um, and it's been really fun to see all the work. We're in several high schools too. So I've been working with high school students during this time of lockdown. And to see what they come up with is just incredible. So it's meant to kind of be for everyone. There's different pricing tiers, which, you know, uh, range from kind of 
AAC uh, files to you know high quality uh, WAV files, um, and also the higher tier has things like AAF and XML export and Q sheet export, which is uh, really exciting for a lot of people who need to manually write these Q sheets. We click a button, the Q sheet comes out with the publishing information and all of that. Um, so th that's for the higher tier, and and we're about to. In fact, uh, this is the first time I'm saying this publicly, but we're about to come out with a free version. Uh, that has obviously some limitations, uh, uh, but also all of the creative juices, all of the knowledge, all of the AI uh, it is still built into the application. So somebody could use that and then decide that they want to use it on their project and, and, and then get a paid version and that work would, would follow through? Yes, the work would follow through. And another thing that we've seen a number of users do is collaborate. So some users will be using at the same time to do all of their Foley and footsteps and sound effects while another user is doing their sound design. And then you can combine the two. We have something called versions in, in Audio Design Desk. So you can kind of put everything together for the final mix, you know, whether you're going to go to Pro Tools or, or Logic or wherever your final mix lives. Obviously, you, we have a number of mixing tools too. Um, uh, but uh, if I'm making a feature film that I want to release on a thousand screens, I would probably end up in Pro Tools, and so we'd send an A, you know, an AF there. Gotcha, Gabe. Sounds fantastic. Where can people find out more about the the app? It's available now at add.app, add.app, and we're doing uh, a lot of virtual uh, demos for people. So there's a little sign up thing. If you are interested, I'm happy to meet people in person, and it's been. You know, it's such a sad time right now. Um, and, and yet at the same time, I'm getting to meet people like you, people from all over the world who are at home looking into new technologies. And um, this, this seems to be a spot of hope or inspiration or fun for people who, especially, you know, kids who are like in front of their screens all day, let them be creative, you know, let them be inspired. Uh, and so add.app, we'd love to hear your thoughts.